Greetings to all of the goddesses and the men who adore us. I am T. Erica, the publisher of ConquerHim.com, and I'm very excited that you decided to watch another video, learn a little bit more about female-led relationships to empower you to create the relationship of your dreams. Tonight, I'm going to talk about an awesome topic. Um, most win women <laughs> are trying to find the answer to this topic, and we're going to talk about how to find a good man, how to recognize one. And I want you to know if you are a powerful woman and you desire a female led relationship, it is up to you to seek out and to recognize a good man in, when he presents himself into your life. You don't have to sit around. You don't have to wait for them to choose you. It is okay to look around, to notice people, and to walk up to a man and say, hey, I like you. Would you like to go out to dinner? Hello, I think you're attractive. Let's have a drink. It's quite all right to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, the first time that you do that, you will feel so empowered. Because usually we sit around, we're waiting for a man to, to make the first move because we want to feel like we were chosen. Okay, it's nice to be chosen sometimes, but it's even better to do the choosing. You choose the man that you want. You see a man that you find attractive. You approach him. You introduce yourself. And you're not worrying about being rejected. All you're worrying about is seeing if he is a good match for you to be a good friend to you. Because at the basis of all female-led relationships is a friendship. Every last one of them. The two people are friends. They trust each other. And they want to play in life together. So, while you're looking for this new friend... And you're looking around the room when you're out and about and you're smiling and you're happy and you're wondering who could come into your life and add some extra spice. Well, to keep these tips in mind. These are things that you need to recognize in a man if you want to find a good man. A good man is capable of supporting himself. Yes. If you are encountering a man who automatically needs your help as soon as you meet him, he is garbage. He is not someone to give a second sentence to in the sentence that you're speaking the first time he asks for help and walk away and never look back and don't allow him to manipulate you with his heartstrings. And, oh, all I need is a good woman. Oh, I want somebody to just support me. I just need somebody to tell me what to do. I just all I need is somebody to believe in me. And no. Don't choose a man who needs your help as soon as you meet him or he's telling you his sob story. A good man is capable of supporting himself. How can he support you in a female-led relationship if he needs so much help and he needs to be rescued at the beginning? Say no to a man who can't support himself. Say no to a man who presents his problems as soon as he meets you, asks for help, or needs to be rescued. That is not a man you're trying to be with. A female-led relationship, which is what this channel is all about, is about supporting the woman. It's about ensuring her happiness, satisfaction, and her progress in life. The man ensures that she is happy. He can't ensure that she is happy if he can't create happiness and success in his own life. So, in the sentence, as soon as you meet a man, if he expresses that he's not happy or he needs this or whatever it is that he needs, you should not be meeting his needs. He should be meeting yours. Point number two, you're looking for a man who is willing to say yes to you. Yes, you know, a lot of men say no just to feel that in control feeling. But a submissive gentleman, a good man, he wants to say yes to you. He wants to make you happy. He wants to know exactly what you want. and He wants to do it just like you said you asked for. So express your standards. Ask him for the things that you want him to do, how you want him to treat you. Express them to him. And he will gladly say yes to you. If he says, no, I can't do that or offers an excuse why he can't call you at the time you're asking him to call you or he can't um, del deliver the dates, the kind of dates that you want or whatever it is that you want. If he says no at any time, then you should leave him alone. He is not the man for you. A submissive gentleman is capable of always saying yes to you. 
And I know that you might be thinking, well, everybody has boundaries. Well, as long as you're not asking him to kill someone, as long as you're not asking him to do anything illegal, as long as you're not asking him to um, hurt his own progress in his own life and his own career, then there's no reason he should say no to you to anything. Even if he can't do it at that very moment because he's in the middle of surgery or something like that, he should say, yes, I can do that. Can you give me a moment and make a plan to be able to still deliver what you want? If he says no to you, when it's something that you want and something that's important to you, you should walk away. Find a good man by finding a man who is willing to say yes and wants to say yes to you. You're also looking for a man who places your happiness as a priority in his life. He wants to see you smile. He's thrilled when he brings you a gift. He's thrilled when he sees your progress. He's happy for you. He's not dismissive. He's not always just talking about himself. He wants to be a part of your success and your progress. And it's a priority. It means a lot to him to see you achieve your goals. The next point it's very important when you're looking for a good man that you find someone who is patient with you and with himself. Yeah, there are a lot of men out there who will throw a fit like a child if they can't have what they want in this world. And if they're interacting with you and you're not moving quickly enough for them or you didn't respond in a way that they found acceptable and they are become agitated or frustrated or try to demand things from you because of that, that's not somebody you want to be with. A good man is patient with himself. He understands that he's not going to achieve all of his dreams and goals overnight. So he understands that you are not going to also give him everything he needs in an instant. So look for someone who's patient with himself who can lose and still keep going, you know, with a smile. And he will also give you that same, um, that same leeway in your relationship. That is very, very important. Now, this last point is also super important. If you're going to be with any man in a female led relationship, which is a relationship that places your happiness, satisfaction, progress as a priority, you have to recognize when a man can set goals and achieve them. Has he gone to college? Has he set any long-term goals and worked for it over a certain time period and achieve them? If he can set a long-term goal, achieve it, and move on to set even more goals for himself, then he is the type of person to build something with. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone to build something with. Even if it may not be a business, it could be your family. You can have long-term goals for your family. You will need to have somebody who understands that there's steps to this. There's levels to this. You know what I'm saying? There's levels to life. There's levels to a relationship. And that they have to go through those levels to get to the end result. And there's nothing that's going to be instantaneous. So look for a man who has set a goal, who wanted to get a new car, saved up over time, Look for those things because that is what's going to lead to you being a part of a healthy and loving female-led relationship with an awesome and powerful submissive gentleman. And if you want to meet gentlemen who are doing these things, all of these things that I've mentioned, why don't you join the Conquer Him community for female-led relationships? All women are always admitted for free. Men do offer a donation, but once you join the Conquer Him community, you can meet couples who are actually living out female-led relationships right now. You can interact with me, and we can have a great time behind the scenes in a private, safe environment for people who are wanting to express openly and wanting to share the love that they have within female-led relationships.